So the story of CJV, man, what is this all about? This whole consciousness awareness, this identity, this who I am now and the big radical change. So if you've been following me for a while or you've been my friend for a while, you've seen some pretty radical changes in my life. And what you're seeing is a great awakening to who I'm truly meant to be. The guy who sits in front of you right now, the first time ever in my life, I can look in the mirror and say, I like you, JV. I like who you truly are. But that was a journey to get there. Many of you may know my story. 17 years ago, I committed suicide on December 18th, 2006. But why would I do something so selfish like that? The reason why is because from a conscious awareness level, I did not know the power, the absolute power that was embodied inside of me. At a very young age, it was ripped out of me through anxiety, through stress, through things that I went through. And I was constantly seeking this thing that was physical for edification. So it's been a pretty wild process since that suicide, 17 years, to really find who I truly am. And I hope that by telling this story that you, as a man or a woman, can see yourself in this process and know that when I finally realize that there is nothing, absolutely nothing in the physical world, nothing in the physical world that was going to fix me, that everything was internal and everything was inside of me. Until I discovered that, I was chasing this esoteric thing that does not exist. A magical finish line that everybody kept drawing for me. They said it was on the end of this car or the end of this house or, or this spouse or, or, this house or this thing or this executive job. What I'm here to tell you guys is everything you need right now exists inside of you. And every single one of you is one of the chosen ones. There's not one special group of people, not one special religion, not one special star seed that come down that is the chosen one. I don't agree with that at all. I think that every single one of us came here for a reason. Every single one of you is extremely, extremely important. And when I stopped reaching outside, I'll speak from my paradigm. When I stopped reaching outside of myself and waiting for an invisible savior, and I started to follow the true teachings of Jesus Christ, that it's in me, that it's always been there, that it's possible, that I can, that I will, that I must, that I will never give up. And I started tapping into the things that I can control, which is my thoughts, my actions, and most of all, my reactions, and knowing that I have free will to go left, to go right, my life started to radically change. So as you go through this process, an awakening process, and you're probably watching this because maybe you're, the algorithm picked it up that you are in that process, or maybe you're really low right now and you think that it's not possible for you, I'm telling you, I'm walking, breathing, living proof that it's possible. I was a drug addict 17 years ago, committed suicide. And now as I sit in front of you today, I truly love myself and I truly, truly love you. So I hope that by me telling these stories on this channel, I'm gonna to start to be more open and transparent about my spiritual walk, uh, the things that I'm doing to open up myself consciously to a whole new reality of expansive, expansive consciousness. But I wanna tell this story because I see so many people walking around looking for an answer. It's right in front of you guys. Every single day you look in the mirror, it's possible. And I really believe that's what Jesus was teaching. I think they inverted a lot of his teachings and tried to make you think that it's some invisible sky in the sky that's gonna strike you down with lightning if you're a sinner, okay? They're trying to make you think that you're not worthy, that you're not enough, that it's not possible for you when the truth is it is. The things you went through as a child, the things that you've experienced, those were all for you to transmute that darkness into light. So as you sit right now, you have a choice. You have free will. You can think it's possible or you can think it's not. You can take action or you can just sit there. You can start to control your emotions and know that you have free will to do whatever you want and see yourself in my story. But I hope through this channel and I hope through these videos that you'll see that it's possible for you. You know, and one of the last things I wanna leave you with is comparison. You know, don't compare yourself to other people on social or things going on out there because every single person, no matter how hardcore they act, working 19 hours a day, this grind culture, we're all broken inside. We're all working to battle ourselves out of this thing that we call life up into the light. And I'll tell you what, you make the path to light difficult so the weak and weary will not fall. And you're not weak. You are powerful. You are strong. You are worthy. And I truly love you.